You're watching the Ugly Inside. Subscribe below. Outside Wembley, Ugly Inside TV, boys. Man United three, Southampton two. Summarise it for me. You said before, just off camera, United should have had two men for sent off. Lingard was one of them. It was another player that I can't remember in the first half, possibly in the early stage of the second half. But to, to put it in context, United were rubbish, right? For all the money they spent, right? And they had three chances, they put three away. But even before they got to that stage, right? Saints had the first goal disallowed, mm. which was not which was not offside. which was not offside. So everything goes towards United's way, right? The refs mm. bottle it every time, right? To be honest with you, right? You know, this is the worst United team I've seen play ever. And give credit to Southampton, they had a few players injured who were world class. They weren't playing today, but to be honest with you, United were rubbish. The referee gave the game to United, but. I can't say anything more than that, other than to say I'm proud of Southampton. Good luck to Southampton for the years to come ahead. And hopefully they will win a cup very soon. That's yeah. right. I mean, we were right in the game, weren't we? Up until the 85th minute, 80, whatever it was, Ibrahimovic, 87th, 87th minute. Yeah. Ibrahimovic was, should not have been allowed that much space in the penalty box. He's six foot whatever. Yeah. He's in between Yoshida and Stevens. My nose was shattered at that point. Yes, I agree, but he's a world-class player. At the end of the day, you know, his age shows that he's, you know what, 35, 36. And maybe our defenders should have done the job against him. But at the end of the day, you know, we're coming to the end of the game where the players are tiring out. Mm. Yeah. OK, he's been given that opportunity in that area, in that space or whatever. Right. And he's put it away. Well done to him. But even after that, Saints should have taken care of him. Right. But bottom line is today we have been dropped of the game you know when you're 3-2 ahead yeah. you know surely the, instead of sending an attacker to go out and trying to get another goal we could have sent a defender mm. right to defend the game which we're very good at defending but credit to both teams they're playing open football right and other than I can't say other than anything other than more than that to say you know what's next for Puel then we reached the cup final top 10 at least got to be well you know, we, we, we've lost a lot of players, we signed a few players, but the bottom line is hopefully Payol can sort the team out now. Now he knows what he's up against, but it, it, wherever he's been, it takes him a year, right, to get to another team. Hopefully, if he stays on next year, move on, Saints. Cheers, Jens.